The quality input data has a huge effect on the effectiveness of your machine learning model. It is rare to have a clean data set ready for model building, so in this video we will cover pre-processing and cleaning your data. Flight delays are a part of life, so let's see if we can predict flight delays based on weather data. We'll use sample data sets already available on Azure ML, but you can use any data from your machine or online. The first is a flight on-time data set from the Bureau of Transportation Statistics. The second is weather data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association. First, let's convert them into the Azure ML dataset format. The Descriptive Statistics module is very useful to help you decide how you want to pre-process your data. The statistics of each feature is shown. It's also telling me that there are features with quite a few missing values. You can specify how you want to deal with missing values using the Missing Values Scrubber. Using MICE, you can replace missing values with an interpolated value or replace them with the mean, median, or mode. Or you can just remove the entire row. In this case, I'm substituting all missing values with zero. As a sanity check, I can verify that there are no missing values. The RDEL 15 column contains the labels that I'm trying to predict, which is whether the arrival was delayed or not. Since this data is available for anybody and not specific to my prediction problem, the dataset contains additional data that I do not want going into my model. These are called target leaks, but I call them cheaters. I want to remove them for a few reasons. First, to actually use this model in real life, I won't have information such as the number of minutes the flight was delayed, since I'm trying to predict that in the first place. Second, there may be some data that is highly correlated with the output. Again, I may not have that information to input into the predictor, so I want to remove that from the dataset. The Project Columns module removes these columns. I'll begin with all columns and specify which columns I want to exclude. You can see that the target leak columns have been removed. The next step is to observe that carrier is a string type and origin airport ID and destination airport ID are numeric types. Since there is a finite set of unique carriers and airports, we want to convert these to the categorical feature type. Use the Metadata Editor module to convert them to categorical feature types. This will select Carrier, Origin Airport ID, and Destination Airport ID as the columns to convert. Now Carrier, Origin Airport ID, and Destination Airport ID have been converted to categorical feature types. The next thing I observe is that the scheduled departure and arrival times are in hours and minutes, represented by a three or four digit number. My strategy is to join this data set with the weather data set, and I want to join by time. Since I don't have weather information for each minute, I'll join by the hour of the day. To extract the hour from this value, I'll use the Apply Math Operation module to divide the columns I want by 100. I'm going to replace the column with the results of the division by choosing In Place. You can also append it as a new column or only output the results. The numbers in the column have all been divided by 100 and the results are seen here. Since I want just the hour, I'll use another Apply Math Operation module to round the number down.
You can choose to round the number up if you want. The decision as to how you want to pre-process the data is yours. I've extracted the hour for departure and arrival times. For the weather data, I'll need to do a lot of the same things. The airport ID is numeric, and that needs to be converted to categorical. The time is in hours and minutes, and I need to extract the hour. I also need to take into account the time zone so I can join the data sets properly. For this data set, I'll remove any rows that have missing values. As I did for the flight delay data, I'm converting airport ID to be categorical. To process the time data, I'll convert to hours by dividing by 100. Again, put the results in place. Then round down the results of the division and put the results in place. You could choose to round up if you want. The decision of how to pre-process your data is yours. The time column now contains the extracted hour value. However, I need to convert the hour to local time by adding it to the value in the time zone column. I'll use another Apply Math Operation module. By selecting Column Set, you're choosing the column of the operation argument. Choose the column that you want to add to. This time I want the results to be a separate column, so I'm choosing Append as the output mode. I now have the value of the hour that's adjusted for time zone. You'll notice that the hour falls out of bounds of valid times, and I'll leave it as an exercise for you to handle that. Now I have flight delay and weather data, and I'll use the join module to join them together. For the first flight delay data, I'll pick the columns I want to use to join. We want to specify the year, month, day, and time at the departure airport. For the weather data set, I'll choose the same columns of year, month, day, and time at the departure airport. You can see why we had to extract the hour. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to join the data sets. And voila! After all that pre-processing, we now have a data set of weather information at the departure airport at the scheduled departure time. I'll leave it as another exercise for you. If you want to create a data set of weather information at the arrival airport at time of scheduled departure to see if it has an effect on flight delays. Another common thing you might want to do in pre-processing data is to normalize your features before building your model. Some machine learning algorithms require normalization so their objective functions will not be dominated by features with a larger range of values than other features.
The Normalize Data module allows you to select which columns you want to transform the data, and there are multiple ways you can transform the data. Now, as you're ready to build your model, you can split the dataset into training and testing datasets using the Split module. You can decide what fraction of the data will go into the training and test datasets. Specifying a random seed is useful if you want to reproduce the split. Although all these steps may seem tedious, having a good dataset is critical. Now you know how to pre-process data, and you're ready to build your machine learning model. Thanks for watching.